Yo, what's good guys? It is your boy Jason JV uh, coming at y'all with a first ever video game review. And yes, as you can tell uh, from the uh, left side of your screen, uh, if you will, uh, you'll, you'll see the uh, NWO for Life edition of WWE 2K22, which is the edition I bought for um, my Xbox Series X and also the Xbox One X. So yeah, I got the bundle pack so I can have the game on both gen consoles. And uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna do uh, a series of reviews for, for this video game. Uh, I figure I'm gonna do a review for the My Rise since um, I just got done playing both the female version and the male version of the My Rise mode. And then um, once I uh, attack the other modes as well, like the Rey Mysterio Showcase, I'll definitely uh, have a video for the Rey Mysterio Showcase on its own, um, again, as, as a part of my review series. So yeah, and then I'll do the same thing for GM mode and what have you. Now, the My Rise for the most part, I will say it's not bad, it's okay, it's just all right. Um, the female My Rise, you know I mean, for the most part, was the best part of the My Rise mode, uh, mainly because um, it didn't have as many bugs and glitches uh, as the male My Rise did. So yeah, we're gonna get the negatives um, out of the way first. And but so that way I can end this on a positive note. So yeah, as you guys know, before we got the, uh, I believe it was three patches that we got. Uh, there was an uh, issue with um, getting some of my opponents into, you know, into the certain corner of the ring. You know, before they, they would uh, actually go and hit the corner, they would just fall, make themselves fall before they would hit the corner. Uh, profile, and another female. Uh, cast and I don't know why um, this girl didn't hit the corner. They had a lot of other uh, people in the community. <clears throat> what is up with them falling at this corner? Now, <clears throat> other than that, of course, uh, when we go and fight Sasha Banks in our first ever um, major WWE show uh, match, uh, Sasha Banks was doing her awesome impression of the running man. Um, 20 minutes later. Uh, I think there, there's a glitch in the matrix. Later. Um. <laughs> 2K? Um, I, I am playing 2K22, right? 2,000 years later. Um. Few inches later. Like sometime today would be nice, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm just saying. Wow. Then we get patch. 1.06 which seems for the most part seems to have fixed all these issues now we can get the opponents uh where we need them to be we in if we need to get them into like a certain corner of the ring we can do that um there was no more uh running man impressions except for the most part uh the the referees uh <laughs> whenever you go for a pin feel free to call me out if i'm lying but tell me why the referee filled this need of doing his impression of the running man before he realizes, oh shit, I need to get down and count to three because we got a pin situation here. <laughs> but hey, no problems though getting a submission hold in. So yeah, um, I hope the V2K um, hooks us up with more patches to fix some of these uh, issues because they are still ongoing to this day. Um, and then of course, you know, while we're on the subject of the referees, tell me why the referees like to get in the way. You know what I'm saying? When you're uh, trying to get your opponent, you know, positioned for and set up for a move, and the referee has to be right there, just right in the middle of all the action. You know what I mean? And to get and just straight up blatantly interfere and turn the tables, if you will, uh, on you, so your opponent can get the upper hand. You know what I mean? Oh man, oh, 2K, 2K, so close, so close. Uh, <laughs> And also, guys, uh, of course, now we, we got patch 107 added to the mix. That did help improve the gameplay a lot. And, uh, yeah. Then we got patch 1.08, which seemed to overly improve the gameplay. So the game is much more tolerable. It is more playable than it, than it has been since its launch today. But like I said, for the most part, female My Rise, I thought it was good. It was solid. Um, no, no issues, except for the few issues that again i have highlighted in my six wtf um female my rise moments um 
Now going into the uh, stories, and this is what, and you know what, I might as well go ahead and address this with the mail my rise while we're at it. Uh, there were uh, a lot of the bigger stories I did appreciate. Um, I did, I did love the fact that with the bigger stories we do have like unlockables and whatnot. And speaking of unlockables, while we're at it, uh, I, the, the the one thing that 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 kind of bugged me about the my rise overall, and this is on, the, and this goes for for both the female and the male. Not only do we have these shared um, side matches, these shared side quests, if you will, but uh, that that are basically just these little one-off matches. Um, other than you know, ha you know, just having the ability to check off those stories in your story progress listing, I didn't really see any other in 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 incentive to play these matches. I mean. If you're going to give us these little side matches, these little one-offs, why not give us more an incentive to play these matches by giving us some unlockables to make these matches worth worth our time? You know what I mean? I feel like these matches were just a bunch of filler. Like the uh, the Wizard of Oz themed side match, you know what I mean? And uh, the one where um, Mark for Life, you know what I mean, was, was complaining about wanting to be able to watch short matches while you know, doing his business on, on, on the toilet seat. Yes, this is a real side match. Um, that is not only on the female side of things, but also on the male side of things. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and there was really no real incentive to play these matches other than, you know, just like I said, to, to check them off the uh, story progress list. There's no unlockables. You know what I mean? If you're going to make, if you're going to add these to these lists of stories that need to be checked off before we can move on, to the next brand at least at least give us something to unlock something to you know to 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 shoot for to give us that incentive in playing these matches otherwise why even bother i feel like it's it's lazy uh laziness on the developer's part in that regard and uh yeah so anyway uh, going into the male my rise side of things the male my rise had more bugs more glitches than the female my rise did um, There was an issue with my guys facial hair. It kept changing color And yes, yes y'all there it is my official attire and why is my goatee bright ass green? Not okay. Yo, what's good guys? It is your boy Jason JV, you know what I'm saying, saying welcome to Another WWE day. Hulk Hogan has been taken to a local medical facility in Japan for evaluation. Once released, got time for one more. And uh, what the hell's going on with my facial hair? Did I get paint? Some face paint on my facial hair? I mean, what the hell is that all about? If you know what I mean, I would have it set to like dark brown, almost black. But then I would come out, and you could check my top 10 WTF Mail My Rise moments video uh, for this. I'll have the card up above. Uh, but yeah, uh, so I have my facial hair set up the way I want it to, then I come out to the ring, and it's bright ass green, and if it's not bright ass green, well then it's, it, it looks like it's covered in, in my, my face paint, when I painted my character's face, so there's, there's a little bit of white, a little bit of red, and a little bit of green, and so I decided like, you know what, let me try changing it into a color, since I'm going with this clown gimmick, I'll make it joker green. So I make it Joker green. Then the game decides, oh no, uh, I'm gonna color correct it and I'm gonna make your, your goatee straight up black. 2K, you need to fix this issue if you expect me to wanna go and revisit the Mail My Rise side of things, which I don't plan on doing because I pretty much unlocked everything there. So yeah, but anyway, and then if it wasn't that, hit detection, hit detection, is for the most part it's it's a little bit better than 2k20 but not by much uh when i will try to hit someone with, with a with a uh, spear or with a kick my character will do this sudden stop and then basically will hit nothing and then this computer character can take advantage and just snatch me up and then it would be hard for me to freaking reverse now look Maybe I'm not the best at reversing, you know what I'm saying? I'll give you that. Maybe I'm not the greatest at it, but uh, yeah. And then sometimes these uh, these reversal windows, they be so, so quick. Like if you were to blink, you miss it at times. If you're gonna give us that tiny of a, of a reversal window, why even bother? 
you know, and the whole um, having to guess, you know, into reversing other moves like, like combos and whatnot or certain grapples. Don't like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I prefer re uh, re the uh, reversal prompts. And if I want to make the game more challenging for myself, then I want the option as to whether or not I want the reversal prompts there. You know what I'm saying? I don't want the game to dictate what I can reverse and what I cannot reverse and what I have to guess to reverse. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, I'm sorry. I don't like it, That, that but that's just me. Um, another issue I had with the male My Rise, again, and this is the same as the female My Rise. A lot of the bigger stories I do like. I thought some of the bigger stories were very creative. Like, I like the whole um, WCW reunion story we, we were trying to do there. Although, some of these bigger stories, they didn't have really anything to unlock. You know what I mean? Um, again, I wish there was more things to unlock with these bigger stories. I wish there was things to unlock on these little one-off side stories that you want us to play to check off on the story progress you know what i mean i feel like each story each and every story no matter how big or how small should have something for us to unlock not you know picking and choosing you know which story should have an unlockable and which ones shouldn't i mean come on i want i want to get the most out of this my rise you know what i mean i want that that incentive other than just checking off the stories and the story progress you know what i mean I, I, give me give me some more unlockables to get but yeah i'm, I'm gonna say this for the most part <sighs> the my rise like i said it, it's it's decent it's okay and then there, there was another issue i have but i think i have it figured out on the male my rise side of things there was a mystery raw story that never got unlocked and it, it didn't matter and according to this story it didn't matter if you're a face or a heel if you're a champion or not and i and i figured out what it is it's the raw shakeup story for some reason that story wouldn't unlock i don't know if that's a glitch or if that was something that the developers overlooked um but yeah that definitely is something that needs, needs to be fixed in order for me to switch from raw to smackdown i had to talk to vince mcmahon luckily vince mcmahon uh, was able to give me the option of switching brands whenever I like. I was able to join um, that club. No, not the club that you may be thinking, you know what I mean, that, that may involve uh, his heinous anus, but no, the other club where you have executive privileges, meaning you can switch brands whenever you like. So that was the only way I could switch from Raw to SmackDown. So I didn't have to talk to Mandy Rose at all. I didn't have to be in a Raw shakeup at all which is odd but yeah that's what that mystery story is for those of you who may be wondering that's what that mystery story is it's the raw shakeup um so yeah that's something that you know i i'm not really too worried about because with those shakeup stories when you're switching brands there's no unlockables so there we go uh so i'm not gonna feel too bad about not being able to play that story i'm not gonna be feeling too bad for not revisiting the my ride stuff so uh so yeah um so far yeah, the, the, the My Rise, like I said, it's pretty decent. It's okay. It's all right for the most part. Um, is there really a whole lot of replay value to it? Not really. Um, it's best. It's they're, they're more like one and done. And another, another thing that I have an issue with as well is uh, Creation Suite. If you go to the attires and you try to set the attires because you want a certain look for your character, you may notice certain bottoms, right? The way that they're designed, they wrap tightly around your character's uh, lower leg, you know, around the calf area, you know what I mean? And it looks like, because when they're wrapped so so uh, snugly around the calf area, they, they have like this dark uh, shaded coloring to that area. You would think when you put tall wrestling boots on your character that the boots would overlap that part of the bottoms. No. the that portion of the bottoms overlaps the tall boots and it makes your character's feet look weird. Don't believe me? Then let's change these boots. I don't think these boots are doing it. Really? 2K, really? Ugh. Okay, now those boots are doing that. 
This is the same issues we had in 2K22. What the hell? Yeah, so the creation suite definitely needs some love. It definitely needs some TLC. You know what I'm saying? Uh, not just for the My Rise, but for the regular gameplay, really. For Because it does the same thing outside of the My Rise. And uh, while we're on the, the subject of creation suite, I wish we had uh, the, the, the slider systems back. <clears throat> not the slider system that we got that I believe was first introduced to us in 2K18, um, but I missed the slider system that we had before where we can adjust the uh, size of each individual limb. We can adjust the size of the torso. You know what I'm saying? Um, I wish we had that option when it comes to creating characters. You know what I mean? So we can have you know unique characters. Um, I appreciate the different body types you're trying to give us, but that's not enough. I'm sorry. And maybe because, you know, I was spoiled with, with the THQ games, but I think the THQ games, they have a much better creative superstar system with the with us being able to adjust the size of each individual limbs. We can make our characters, you know, as big and as bulky as we want them to be. You know what I mean? Whether it's a, it's a super heavyweight or someone that, that, that is built, I want that option. You know what I'm saying? I want the option of having... A, a, a huge superstar if I want to or somewhere in between you know what I'm saying or making a, a smaller character um, I, and I I feel like I feel like you, you, you kind of took that creative freedom away with this new system um, and I also feel and I wish that with this superstar um, with the creative superstars that we make in the my rise mode we can export them out just like we were able to do with uh, 2k20 I don't understand you had that system in place with with two in 2k20 where we can export our creative characters into the main parts of the game why can't we do it for this game because uh, now we have to go back to the old way and if we want that character we have to uh, create that character outside of the my rise which is a pain in the ass and uh, or at least give us the option when we're creating because look you already have it in the game where in the creation suite we can upload our created characters into the uh, community creations why couldn't we have that same option in the my rise mode it's basically the same uh creation suite why wasn't the option of at least uploading it to community creations be there so that way if i want to I can just download that character and export them into the main part of the game that way. It may be a little bit more tedious that way, but it will be worth it. That way I won't have to create the same character all over again from scratch <laughs> into the main part of the game. So yeah, guys, um, so far from what I'm seeing in this game, for the most part, it does play better than 2K20. I feel like the My Rise it's a good start, and I do appreciate the fact that uh, that the that the uh, the championships, um, all the things that we're able to to obtain in both the female and the male my rise, for the most part, they seem to be more balanced. Although with the male my rise, being that you're able to win the 24/7 championship, obviously that's one more championship um, for the male character to win over the female character. But I do appreciate the fact, though. That still more or less it is a little bit balanced you know what i'm saying um and yeah it it's not perfect there's definitely a lot of flaws um but i'm hoping and praying because the game wasn't released that long ago it only came out what last month uh well, well over a month ago uh that and we got some dlcs coming out for for the better part of the year uh hopefully we'll get some more patches along the way to uh, make things better i did try to set up my universe mode and i'm having issues with universe mode um, i'll get into more of universe mode though in a separate video because i do want to spend a lot of time with universe mode before i can really give my more uh informed opinions on universe mode i do want to spend some time with gm mode uh before i can give my informed opinions on that as well and again, um, I just wrapped up the Rey Mysterio Showcase. So definitely look forward to the Rey Mysterio Showcase review. But yeah, so far, the My Rise stuff, I think they're off to a good start with it. But yeah, it can definitely be better. Um, I would say if I were to give it a rating, 
I would rate it. I say it gets a solid six out of ten uh, from me. Um, I wish we, we had more uh, unlockables to get. You know what I mean? Um, in regards to every single story that we had to play through on all the brands, um, and I wish that there was more. Uh, if we're gonna have smaller side matches on both sides, I wish the the smaller side matches were not the same for both sides. I wish the male had their own unique side matches to play. You know what I'm saying? That that is that that the female my rise did not have. You know what I mean? And vice versa. I wish the female my rise had you know its own unique side matches that the male my rise doesn't. You know what I mean? Um, and yeah. So yeah, guys, again, 6 out of 10 for the, the My Rise. I think it's a fair rating. Let me know if you guys agree. Let me know if you disagree. Um, but yeah, for the most part, I am enjoying 2K22 so far. Um, it's just, yeah. I, um, I think I pretty much <laughs> nailed it. I pretty much nailed everything I wanted to say. So yeah, um, it, it, it's okay. It's decent. It's, it's definitely a, a step above. Uh, 2k20 it is definitely an, an improvement over 2k20 so far from what, I, what I'm seeing um, But not by much um, There's definitely room for improvement definitely um, Room for more patches if 2k is working on some more patches and that is greatly appreciated um, I feel like a lot of the, the little bugs the little glitches, you know with the in the mail my rise with the facial hair and everything uh, That could have easily been, been avoided um, I'm putting the blame partially on the developers. I'm also putting the, the blame partially on the, uh, the the members of the community that had early access to the game, that had opportunity to, to go through every mode of that game, but only opted to play exhibition matches and only care to check out GM mode, if anything. Um, yeah, yeah. I felt like, and because then the same people who got early access are the same ones. If you watch their gameplays. They're the same ones who are also complaining about the little bugs, the little glitches in regards to the facial hair and in regards to um, the titles stabbing you through through, through the uh, shoulder. How can I forget that? In the Mail My Rise, a US Championship was stabbing my character through the shoulder. Developmental to come up with another amazing persona and give back to future superstars. After this hiatus, Dolph would return. There's another uh, community member who experienced that and was complaining about that and it's like dude that probably could have been avoided had you checked the my rise mode when you had early access i'm just saying anyways guys that's enough of the my rise uh, review slash i guess rant you can call it um st stay tuned for the ray mysterio showcase review that will be coming up shortly till then it is your boy jason jv so y'all take care have a blessed one catch y'all next one peace